okay greetings everybody tgif the last trading day of the week and we've had some pretty decent moves thus far across the board for the majors and gold we had a nice down move so you probably might have caught something here or there uh, earlier we talked about the head and shoulders pattern this being the left shoulder the head and then also the right shoulder so you could have gotten something probably on the pullback to this area of interest that acted as resistance and then resistance and if you look at your levels very well you'd always see your levels act according to how it is supposed to so always act as support or resistance if i were to advise anybody with respect to trading would be to pay attention to your areas of interest which has to do with the support and the resistance and then you are good to go on the cable we had decent moves yesterday we had a strong move on the pounds across the board right so you can see the strong move to the upside and look at the aussie as well some nice decent moves to the downside what we have happening now across board for most of the majors and gold is ranging right the market seems to be ranging now after some good moves as you can see we have the range over here on the aussie and then of course also same thing on the kiwi here as well you can see the boxes over here all you have to do is just to train your eyes and then you will see and understand well enough right and if you look at this we had this move to the upside now it has come up to retest this as former resistance and seems to be stalling after retesting look at what we have here this simply means that it went dead this shows that the uh, buyers on getting here were not strong enough at least up to now to push price back up so this area is one that you need to be careful with you need more information pay attention across both what's happening to the dollar as well it might give you some clues with respect to this uh sweezy right dollar yen uh same thing bounced off these areas here of support and then stuck in between this area here it is stuck between this area here and this area here so if you are thinking of trading this uh, dollar yen you uh, will probably be looking at maybe a bounce from here to go down or a breakout retest and then drop or, or a direct retest of this area but don't forget today is friday so um trade carefully also being friday we have some data coming out later today for card for the unemployment rates today and also for the dollar ppi at about 1 30 pm so expect some volatility uh for the dollars and also for card and then gold yes gold gold this week we had a big 400 plus move i think about 460 pips move to the downside and ever that ever since that happened we've now had its range in this area so that means obviously this uh, weekly candle is going to end as bearish but what we're looking at now is either a breakout to the upside of this uh, box area or to the downside once again don't forget today is a friday and fridays are notorious for profit taking day right so trade carefully ensure to use your stop loss do not be a hero and uh, if you're going to hold trades over the weekend then ensure that your stop loss is well placed as there might easily be uh, gaps in the market who knows it's been a while we've seen gaps but of course gaps tend to happen on sunday open right so with that said i want to say thank you and of course i believe that you had a good one this week if you have any questions or need any assist whatsoever comment in the section below and of course, give the video a thumbs up and uh, we'll see what we can do for you. Thank you, everybody. Enjoy the rest of your day and goodbye for now.